for more information related to the civil engineering concepts and civil engineering updates please visit my website civilbasics123.com go to type civilbasics123.com in google so that my website will be open here like this so which is consisting of all detailed concepts related to the civil engineering topics so please follow my website civilbasics123.com in this video lecture i will explain you analysis and designing of 10 story h shaped irregular building by using csi detailing version software so firstly i will show you the model which i was already done uh, for the respected h shaped building structure in etap software so firstly i am selecting my etap software here so this is my building model this is the plan view and this is the 3d view for the respective structure so go to click on the define option for this building structure i was taken m30 grade concrete provision and hysd bars of 500 grade steel Again in the same process I was taken the beam size which is consisting of approximately 0 0.46 cross 0 0.23 in the same process I was sorry 3, 0 0.35 and in the same process I was taken the column size which is approximately equal to uh, 0 0.46 cross 0 0.46. So for this respective structure I was taken the slab thickness which is uh, comes under the uh, thickness of 150 mm. So for this building initially I was taken the load cases which is comes under the uh, special gravity loading condition system as well as the lateral loading condition system. Go to define option load patterns. So these are the load cases I was taken as per the consideration. So in my previous videos I was explained how to define this particular load cases and how to do the modeling process for the multi-story building. So you can watch that video. I will provide you that video link in your book cart link. Okay. So after applying all the load cases we need to analyze the structure go to analyze option set load cases to run option click on run now option so that it will do the analysis process for the particular structure with the considerations of the load cases then after that uh, we can uh, able to see the results which is comes under the deflection diagram shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for the particular structure then after that i will show you how to uh, import that particular structure to the csi detailing version then uh, how to design that uh, building structure in csi detailing version software now you can see this is the deflection diagram for the particular structure with the considerations of the dead load condition system. Okay. So you can see the shear force diagram by using display option, force is stress size, select the space spandula force, shear to two option, click on apply so that it will display the shear force diagram for the particular structure. Then after that you can able to see the bending moment diagram, click on bending moment 3, 3, click on apply option so that it will display the bending moment diagram for the particular structure with the consideration. Select the torsion option in the same process, click on apply option so that it will display the torsion diagram for the particular structure. So after analysis process is completed, we need to design this structure. So for that initially we need to add the strip condition system for the different floors. So for simple understanding, just I am explaining how to add the strip condition system for the two floors only. Okay. For that click on edit option, click on add edit grid strips open, add strip condition. So here I am selecting floor number 10 which is in x direction with strip layer is A, click on apply so that it will apply the strip condition system for the 10th floor in x direction. Okay, so again in the same process I am selecting the direction will be comes under y direction with strip layer is B, click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the particular structure. In the same process I am selecting the strip number layer is 9 number with strip condition system of X with strip layer is A, click on apply option. So that it will apply the strip condition system for the ninth story. Again in the same process I am selecting Y with the strip layer is B. Click on apply option so that it will apply the strip condition system for the Y direction condition. Click on OK option. So then after that we have to do the analysis process again for the particular structure. So for that again click on the analyze option here. Set load cases to run again. Again click on the run now option so that it will do the analysis process again for the particular structure with the considerations of the grid condition systems. Now you can see this is the deflection diagram again with the considerations of the strip. Now we have to design this building. Go to click on design option, concrete frame design, select the view revised preferences option, select IS456-2000, click on OK option. Again in the same process we have to click on the design option, concrete frame design option, select that start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the building uh, with frame sections which is comes under the uh, beam sections as well as the column sections. Now we can see it was done with frame section design. Now we have to design the slab section. Go to click on design option. So concrete slab design section. Uh, select view revised preferences. So here I am selecting IS456-2000 code. Click on OK. Again in the same process click on design. Uh, slab uh, concrete slab section design. Select the, uh, select the number of stories. So here I am selecting top two stories. Click on OK. Click on design option concrete slab. 
select the start designing check option so that it will start designing check for the particular two floors under considerations of your uh, load cases okay so here it was checking for the story number 9 again the same process it will check for the particular uh, structure of the story number 10 then after that it will display the longitudinal reinforcement value for the two stories top two stories under consideration you can see here this is the uh, strip design layer for the longitudinal reinforcement and transitional reinforcement for the top two slabs now we have to save this particular model by using control s option so that initially the model will be saved in the uh, etap software now we have to do the detailing process in csi detailing version software so for that just i am selecting here as csi detailing version software 18 version here okay so click on the file option click on new detailing option so firstly we have to import the model from the uh, csi uh, etap software to csi detailing version so here i am selecting s shape select the h model so initially the model will be open in uh, etap software then after that it will be directly imported to csi detailing version software now here you can see the data is importing from the csi etap software to csi detailing version software for the particular grid section story sections joint sections frame sections and cell sections now here initially we need to select the units option so select the detailing units here and select the units will be of kilo newton and select the rebar set will be of si and select the rebar weight will be in ton option click on ok and select the preferences here standard preferences as per is 456 2000 code click on ok select the rebar rules option and you can select the values of the minimum value and maximum value of the spacing minimum i am selecting here as 4 to 120 and maximum 450 so again in the same process i am selecting minimum value will be of 120 120 and 120 maximum will be comes under the value of 450 value here and this is also 450 value here this is also 450 select the column option select the minimum value will be of 120 value maximum value will be of 450 value here okay so here i am selecting 450 value click on ok option again click on ok option so that it will do the uh, detailing process in csa detailing version software okay in the uh, after detailing is done then i will show you the results which is comes under the slab designing section column designing section and uh, column uh, beam designing section by using C, uh, csi detailing etap software okay so now we can see it was done with the detailing process we can select any one of the results which is showing on the left hand side for the particular structure here okay so this is the floor framing plan this is the rebar plan option here for the particular structure you can select the top rebar plan and bottom rebar plan for the uh, building structure with the consideration so it will load the rebar plan for the each and every floor for the structure so this is the top rebar plan this is the bottom rebar plan for the particular structure again in the same process you can select the all rebar plans option so that it will load the uh, top, top rebar plan initially then after that it will load the bottom rebar plan for the particular structure with the consideration so now we can see this is the all rebar plan select the bill of material option and select the rebar quantity directly select the rebar kg option okay so that it will load the final output which is considered for the particular designing section with the rebar kg view for the 10th story so this is the final rebar kg for the h shape slab section okay in the same process you can see the beam results here select the beam option concrete beam section elevation section select any one of the floor select any one of the beam just i'm selecting a section here okay so this is the beam reinforcement detail section it is section a section b section c section d section e section f g h i section okay again in the same process you can see click on the rebar kg option so that it will load the final output file for the particular structure of the beam section okay in the same process you can select the column design concrete frames elevation section select any one of the column select the elevation number one two three option select the section a this is the column reinforcement section for the particular structure in the same process you can select another column here also so this is the another column which is consisting of the reinforce reinforcement bars here like this okay so you can select the rebar kg for the particular column section so that it will load the final output which is comes under the uh, particular column section which is comes under the number of the bars here like this okay it will load the final output file after some time for the uh, 10 story edge shape uh, building structure with the considerations of the different types of the load cases okay now we can see it is loaded with uh, final output which is done with uh, rebar kg option so this is the final output for the particular structure okay so this is the process analysis and designing of edge shape uh, 10 floor building structure by using 
uh, ETAP software. If you have any queries about this respected video, please try to text me your questions in the below comment box. I will try to give the answer for that respected questions. Thank you.